There was a question posed on the Povray Google Plus community today with regards to a problem with using a difference between a cylinder and a box. So let's take a look at it. But more importantly, I'll show you how I debugged that problem. So here's our difference. And the first object inside it is a fairly small box. We're taking away from that a cylinder, which you can see here. So let's render this and see what we actually get. Here's our red box, but there's no sign of that cylinder having been subtracted from it. In these cases, the first thing I do is change this difference into a union. That means I'm going to be able to actually see the shape. Let's render that. OK, so now we've got an idea where that cylinder actually is within the scene, and you can see that it's at the front of the box. The next thing I do when I'm debugging this sort of problem is it can be so much easier to see the issues if you make the surfaces of the objects transparent to some degree. Let me change out this simple red texture and put in instead a filtered red texture. So I change red to RGBF, put in a major red component and set the filtering to 50%. Let's render that and see what that gives us. So we can now see our box but we can see a shadow of where the cylinder should have been subtracted from it. You can see the curve here. OK, so let's move the camera to the side a bit and get a better look at the face of this box that should have the cylinder subtracted from it. And let's render. There's a couple of things to note here. You can see that something has been subtracted from the front of this box and you can still see the curve of the cylinder but it looks more like a triangular polygon has been subtracted from the face. This is actually symptomatic of a particular and peculiar artefact of using Povray. Let's have a look at this difference object again. If we look at the endpoints for the cylinder, you can see here that the Z, that's the forwards and backwards coordinate here, is showing minus one for the start edge, and that matches up exactly with the value for the surface of the box here at minus one. If we look at the other end of the cylinder, again it's exactly at 1 and 1 for the box as well. What's happening is that when Povray is rendering this scene, it can't tell where one object ends and the other begins because they exactly match. The fix for this is really simple. If we change the position of the end caps of this cylinder that we're taking away, just a very, very tiny amount, just move it off of that exactly the same coordinate. So if we add 0.00001 here to both ends of the cylinder. We've now clearly established that the ends of the cylinder extend beyond the sides of the box. This should mean that Povray can render this difference correctly. So when we render this, we can now see that that cylinder has been correctly subtracted. But to prove it, let's put this pigment back to solid red. There you go, much easier to see. And you can see that our cylinder has now correctly been deducted from that box.